piece of spider, right? Really? I'll bet you a bottle that at least some of you remember that once famous photo of a huge spider sitting on a broom. That photo was taken quite a few years ago and was uploaded to the internet and it immediately went viral, right? People started writing about it and it spread across the internet at lightning speed. And under those photos, when I was reading different comments, there were, you know, all sorts of conspiracy theories like, oh, this photo is photoshopped, this photo is fake, it's all a lie, there are no such spiders in the world. Others said, of course they exist, and that's typical Australia, right? Today, I'd like to clear up some doubts about this spider. I'll tell you what kind it is and confirm if it really exists, although I assume you already know that. It exists. Well, so yes, let's start with the fact that yes, such a spider really exists. This is a real photo, a real species, and those who don't believe that this spider can be so big, I think they should get familiar with the concept of perspective, because in reality, the spider in the photo isn't bigger than a hand. Interestingly, I have a very close cousin of it here. Well, maybe not very close, but close, this spider here. This little marvel here in the corner, which is usually behind my back, and now you can admire it on the big screen, is a spider called Heteropoda lunula. I must clarify that the species I'm referring to is not the same as the giant spiders often seen in famous photos and videos invading homes, primarily in Australia and East Asia. Well, where else? And this spider is very, very closely related to the main character of that famous photo. We can take him out of this jar. We've got him. He's beautiful. Let's get started. Both this one, the spider from the photo, and the spiders from the movies you'll see today, all of them have one thing in common, and that is that they all belong to the same family of spiders. The Parasite family is called the Sparasite family in Polish. And while these two names, both the Latin and the Polish one, might not mean much to you, there's also the English name, which is Huntsman Spiders. And that these so-called huntsmen, in quotation marks, are very, very popular in the regions of the world where they occur. And they're probably most popular in Australia. And uh, definitely in Asia, but they also occur in Africa or South America, probably North America too, and in Europe as well, I'll talk about that in a moment. So now, since we already know which family these spiders belong to, let's narrow down the search a bit, okay? The family of harvestmen includes around 1,200 species, making it a relatively large arachnid family. And uh, among this family, there are spiders that are, uh, first of all, quite large. You know, this spider is actually a pretty big one, right? Really. Secondly, with an enormous leg span. And what's interesting here is that in Laos, there's a spider from the Heteropoda genus, which also belongs to this family, and it's said to have the largest leg span of any spider in the world, surpassing even giants like the Theraphosa genus, right? So those famous uh, Goliath bird-eating spiders, which have enormous leg spans, which are huge and massive, well, that's exactly Heteropoda maxima, because that's its scientific name, discovered in some caves in Laos, and apparently it can reach a leg span even greater than the largest bird-eating spiders. This is another Heteropoda species, Heteropoda lunula, with stunning coloration. These photos showcase the amazing color variations found in spiders of this family, ranging across a wide spectrum. We have this, which is kind of purple, we have completely yellow spiders, we have completely green ones, including the only one found in Europe, the green huntsman spider, which also lives in Poland. I plan to make a separate episode about this spider in the summer when it's available in nature. We'll go look for it then, as it's a beautiful, completely green spider. Although much smaller than this one, it's the only actual huntsman spider species in Europe and can be found in Poland. So the variety of colors in this family is amazing, but you'll also find some plain gray ones there, meaning spiders that are completely gray. In the Middle East, there's also a cool spider that's grey, but has black rings on its legs. And by the way, it's actually endangered, but that's a topic for another story. At this point, while discussing the grey ones, we come to the spider named Swotka. This spider doesn't belong to the Heteropoda genus, which is quite widespread in breeding, and you can normally buy Heteropoda spiders to keep. Kuba, Zayak, Pshemek and I all recorded about it, as I showed you some Heteropoda spiders too. The spider in the photo is from Australia, so automatically it can't be Heteropoda maxima, which is the giant one, the biggest one, right? Because it lives in Laos. So what is it then? Well, this spider has the Latin or scientific name Tipostola barbata. I know it doesn't mean anything to you, but for native Australians, I think this name is also unfamiliar. And now let me say this. Anyway, as the huntsman spider, I think most Australians who have ever encountered it know it. 
because the fact that these spiders enter people's homes and sometimes live there for a while, sometimes run away, is basically nothing new in Australia. That's just how these spiders are, right? In search of food or, I don't know, warmth or coolness or whatever, they enter people's homes. And such a spider from the Typostola genus was just photographed on a broom. And as I mentioned, it's a matter of perspective because actually the spider itself is about the size of that heteropoda lunula, right? So it's, let's say, a little smaller than a human hand. Its body isn't huge, but the leg span is really impressive. And because of the perspective in this photo, it looks like it's the size of, I don't know, an adult person's chest. So you might ask, is such a spider dangerous to humans? Well, it's big. It can bite. Yes, of course it can bite. Moreover, the chelicerae of these Sparacidae family spiders are quite powerful, as seen in this close-up example I just showed you. And the bite will definitely be painful, so I don't recommend provoking such spiders, even though they are rather, well, maybe not exactly friendly towards humans, but still, they don't attack humans, and certainly not without a reason, right? Their target is not humans, their prey is not humans, their prey are invertebrates, mainly small insects. So they have no reason to attack people, because it just doesn't make sense, right? Spiders prefer to conserve their precious venom for prey rather than using it on humans, as venom is their most valuable resource. I mean, rather than waste it, it prefers to use it for a quick, precise and lasting kill of its prey. A kill can't be temporary. And such venom, for example, unlike spiders from the Phonutria genus, which are also somewhere around here, or here, well, this venom doesn't pose any threat to human health. In the case of larger species like the Typostola, there will be more venom, so we might feel the effects more strongly. I've never been bitten by spiders from this family. I don't plan on it, but it could happen one day. If I ever get a large heteropoda spider, I'll definitely show you. However, from what I've heard from various reports and from the experiences of people who have been bitten, I know that these spiders have relatively weak venom, not dangerous to humans, and nothing serious should happen to us after being bitten by such a creature. And I would really like to show you a live large heteropoda or a live large representative from this family. However, I don't have one at the moment, sorry, unfortunately. But I just remembered that as part of a certain project for my friend Apec, I recently prepared these three spiders. And these three spiders belong to a certain species called Holconia murayensis. And these are what are called huntsmen. So they belong to the Sparacidae family and so on. And here, what's cool and what you can notice is the characteristic arrangement and length of their legs. I arranged the legs myself, but their length is characteristic. Look, we have two males and a female, and you can see that the first two pairs of walking legs are much longer, while the two back ones are shorter. And that's a somewhat characteristic feature of these spiders. For example, crab spiders and a few other families have something very similar. Oh, and by the way, I have a riddle for you. Tell me, what is the answer to the question, how many legs do spiders have? There is only one correct answer, and I use the word legs here for a reason. These Holconia were actually brought into Poland, not introduced as a species, but brought in for breeding in Poland, I think, last year. Abek was one of the first to breed them, and now you can buy them from time to time, not just as smaller or larger specimens. And that's basically it. If you have, if you know of, or if you've seen any of those viral videos that have spread and made people panic because they show big, scary, and so on, spiders, please let me know with links under this video. I'd be happy to make a video about other short clips like that as well. By the way, I really like the format of recording these videos because this format can make many people realize that these spiders aren't actually as scary as they might seem at first glance. That's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.